Contra Japanese, Hundo Luo Hepburn, Contora is a video game series produced by Konami composed primarily of run-and-gun style shoot-em-ups. The series debuted in 1987 as a coin-operated arcade game simply titled Contra, which was followed by the release of Super Contra in 1988 and several sequels produced for various home platforms. The in-universe use of the term, Contra is first explained within the Japanese instruction card of the arcade version of Contra, and reiterated in most games including Contra, Shattered Soldier, as a title awarded to a superior soldier possessing almost superhuman drive and ability, while excelling in guerrilla tactics. In Japanese, the title is spelled with the kanji characters Hundo Luo or Contora. This is a form of a teji, in which the characters are used for their phonetic pronunciations rather than any inherent meaning they may have. The arcade version of Contra was released in February 1987, a few months after the Iran-Contra affair was made public. While it is unclear whether the game was deliberately named after the Nicaraguan Contra rebels, the ending theme of the original game was titled, Sandinista, Sandinisuda Sandinisuda, after the adversaries of the real-life Contras. Topic. Gameplay The majority of the Contra games are side-scrolling shoot-em-ups where the player takes control of an armed commando who must fight all sorts of extraterrestrial monsters and other kinds of futuristic menaces. In addition to the side-scrolling stages, the original Contra also featured 3D view. Levels where the player must move towards the background in order to progress, while subsequent titles, such as Super Contra and Contra 3, The Alien Wars, feature overhead stages as well. Only the Appaloosa developed installments in the series, Contra, Legacy of War and Seed the Contra Adventure, as well as Neo Contra, deviated from the series' side-scrolling perspective although C, the Contra Adventure does feature two side-scrolling stages. Contra, Shattered Soldier, while maintaining the side-view perspective of the 2D games, features fully polygonal 3D graphics. Almost every game in the series, with only a few exceptions such as the MSX2 version of Contra or Operation C for the Game Boy, which were single-player only, allows two players to play the game simultaneously. The main power-ups in the series are falcon-shaped letter icons which will replace the player's default weapon with a new one, such as a laser gun or a spread gun. There are also power-ups that are actually auxiliary items like the barrier which provides temporary invincibility or the rapid bullets which increases the firing speed of the player's current weapon in the original Contra, as well as weapons such as the Mega Shell in the arcade version of Super Contra and the bombs in Contra 3 and Contra Hardcore, that are used to destroy all on-screen enemies. The original arcade version of Contra used the Falcon icons for all of its weapons except the laser gun and the fireball weapon, while in the arcade version of Super Contra, no Falcon icons were used. Contra, Shattered Soldier and Neo Contra both deviate from this tradition by having set weapon configurations instead. Most of the Contra games have the player begin the game with only a set number of lives three in most console games. If the player gets hit once, they will lose a life along with any weapon they currently possess in some games. Because of this, the Contra series is notorious for being really hard. Even in the original arcade versions, most of the games only give limited chances to continue before forcing the player to start all over. Extra lives are usually obtained in most games when the player reaches certain scores. The NES version of the original Contra used the Konami code previously featured in the NES version of Gradius to start the game with 30 lives instead of the usual 3. Most of the subsequent console games in the series only featured these extra lives codes in their Japanese releases, such as Contra Spirits the Japanese version of Contra 3 and Contra, Hardcore. <laughs> games. Topic. Original games Contra Arcade, NES, MSX2, DOS, C64, CPC, ZX 1987. Contra is the first game in the series. Many of the series conventions such as power-ups, two-player cooperative gameplay and the character's light mobility including somersaults were already present in this game. 
The game is composed of traditional side view stages that scroll either vertically or horizontally, as well as 3D view stages in which the player moves towards the backgrounds. The NES version is essentially identical to the arcade version in terms of content, but has longer stages and other modifications. In Japan, the Famicom version uses the VRC2 chip, which allowed for additional background animation and cut scenes not included in its North American and European NES counterparts. An MSX2 version was also produced that is drastically different from the other two versions. Several computer versions were done outside Japan, by Ocean in Europe for the C64, CPC and ZX, and by Banana Software in North America for DOS-based PCs. Super Contra Arcade, NES, DOS, Amiga 1988. Super Contra replaces the 3D view stages from the original with top view stages similar to those in Commando or Akari Warriors. Features unique to the arcade version includes upgradable weapons and the ability to control the character's jumping height. The NES version retitled Super C for its North American version has three new stages and a new final boss, but lacks the upgradable weapons from the arcade game. Unlimited Software created DOS and Amiga conversions for the North American market, based on the arcade original. Operation C Game Boy 1991 Operation C is the first Contra game made specifically for a portable platform. Featuring gameplay similar to the NES version of Super C, Operation C also first introduced the homing gun power-up. Contra 3, The Alien Wars SNES, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance 1992. The series' first entry for a 16-bit game console, Contra 3 allows the player's character to climb into walls or railings and carry two weapons that can be switched back and forth, as well as smart bombs that kill all on-screen enemies. Many of the stages and bosses made use of the system's Mode 7 graphic effects, including a bike riding stage that ends in a mid-air battle with the main character riding missiles. The player is now required to rotate their character in the top view stages to move along with the scenery. Two heavily modified portable ports were produced, a port for the original Game Boy, simply titled Contra, The Alien Wars, and a later Game Boy Advance port, titled Contra Advance, The Alien Wars X, which replaced the top view stages with levels from Contra, Hardcore. Contra Force NES, 1992. Contra Force combines the run-and-gun style of the Contra series with a power-up system similar to Gradius. The game is notable for being the first Contra to feature selectable characters with their unique weapon configurations. Contra Force lacks the alien invaders and futuristic environment of previous installments, as the game centers around an elite task force fighting human terrorists in a present-day setting. The game was actually planned as an unrelated game in Japan as Arc Hound, but was never officially released there, nor in Europe. Contra, Hardcore, Mega Drive, Genesis, 1994, the first Contra game for a Sega platform. Hardcore also contains selectable characters with unique weapons and abilities and introduces an in-game storyline with branching paths that alter the ending. Contra, Legacy of War PlayStation, Sega Saturn 1996. The first of two Contra titles developed by Appaloosa Interactive, as well as the first attempt to convert the Contra gameplay to 3D. It was originally sold with a pair of anaglyph glasses. It is the first console Contra game to be released in the PAL region with no changes. A Japanese release of Legacy of War was planned, but cancelled. See the Contra Adventure PlayStation 1998. The second Contra game developed by Appaloosa. The gameplay is composed of several side-scrolling and 3D stages, as well as a single overhead stage. It's the only console game in the series to lack a multiplayer mode. C. The Contra Adventure was only released in North America, with no Japanese nor European versions. Contra, Shattered Soldier PlayStation 2, 2002, features 2D side-scrolling gameplay with fully polygonal 3D graphics. The player now has a fixed weapon configuration, allowing the character to use one of three weapons. The player can also charge their weapon for a more powerful shot. The game grades the player's performance on each stage and only allows the good ending to those with an above average rank. Neo Contra PlayStation 2 2004 Neo Contra is the first game in the series to be composed entirely of overhead stages. 
The player can now select their weapon configurations, which includes a weapon that locks onto airborne enemies. Contra 4 Nintendo DS 2007. Developed by WayForward Technologies, the gameplay is displayed on two screens and the player's character now has a grappling hook that latches onto railings. The gameplay system is modeled after Contra 3, The Alien Wars, with upgradable weapons similar to Super Contra. It also features the return of the 3D view tunnel stages from the original Contra. The game has never been released in Europe. Contra Rebirth downloadable for Wii 2009. Developed by M2 and published by Konami for WiiWare, this 2D side-scrolling game was released in May 2009 in Japan and features Bill Riser and Genbei Yagyu from Neo Contra fighting off an alien invasion. It features hand-drawn sprite-based visuals, and has two unlockable characters as well as an unlockable nightmare mode. With the announcement of the closure of the Nintendo Wii Shop channel in 2018, and discontinued in 2019, this game, from the Rebirth trilogy is coming back for Nintendo Switch along with the fourth title. Contra, The War of the Worlds cell phones, 2009, A mobile game developed by Konami's Chinese division. In this game the player fights alien intruders on the moon. Hardcore, Uprising downloadable for PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 2011, the game was developed by Arc System Works and is the first Contra game without the Contra brand name in the title. It became available on Xbox Live Arcade on February 16, 2011, and was released on the PlayStation Network on March 15, 2011. It is a prequel to the original Contra. The player will play the role of Colonel Bahamut, the main antagonist from Contra, Hardcore. Although the game was released with only two different characters to choose from, like most Contra games, Konami has released additional characters via DLC. Contra Evolution Arcade, Android, iPhone, iPad, 2010. A remake of the original Contra was released in China on mobile phones, 2010, based on an arcade version that would actually be released later, 2011, and later ported to iOS systems in 2013. It features updated graphics, new characters to choose from, pay-to-play credits to buy extra lives, and featured bonus stages. Contra 3D Pachislot. Contra 3D is a Pachislot game based on the Contra series and was released in Japan in 2013. Neo Contra Slot Machine Pachislot. Neo Contra Slot Machine is a slot machine game based on Neo Contra and was released in America in 2014. Contra, Return Android, iPhone, iPad A free-to-play mobile game developed by Tencent and Konami and is exclusive to China in 2017. Its American release date is unknown, at the moment the game is under testing. At the time of the Chinese release, it was nominated for Best Sound Design in a Casual, Social Game and Best Music in a Casual, Social Game at the 16th Annual Game Audio Network Guild Awards. Topic. Re-releases The original arcade versions of Contra and Super Contra were ported to several computer platforms in North America and Europe during the late 1980s and 1990s. In North America, the original Contra and Super Contra as Super C were ported to DOS. A version of Super C was also released for the Amiga. Contra was released for the DOS, Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64 and ZX Spectrum in Europe under the Grizzor title. As software emulation became more widespread, the classic Contra games, both arcade and console installments, are being made available in numerous formats such as downloadable game services like the Wii's Virtual Console and Xbox Live Arcade, video game compilations, standalone re-releases and even as unlockable games in newer installments. Mobile phone versions have been produced as well. For more information, see each individual game page. Topic: <coughs> Cancelled games. Contra Spirits and Super Contra Sega CD cancelled. Contra Spirits 64 Nintendo 64 cancelled. Originally announced in early 1997, this Nintendo 64 incarnation of the series was to be developed by Konami Computer Entertainment Osaka, but was later cancelled when the development team disbanded. Contra Nintendo GameCube Nintendo GameCube cancelled. 
Contra 3DS Nintendo 3DS cancelled. Topic in other media. Vaco says, "Remember your place, Dame." While playing Contra, the Japanese release for the 2015 Indian film calendar Girls was originally the 4th of December 2015, but postponed to the 25th of March 2016 due to the murder of Lance Bean. Contra is one of the video games featured in the manga titled Rockin' Game Boy, by Shigeto Ikahara and published by Comic Bomb Bomb from October 1989 to December 1991. Blades of Steel family computer During the second intermission, either a video game will appear for player one to play or a Konami ad will appear featuring a bear shooting the puck into a net mouthing the words, Nice shot! The video game is actually an advertisement for Contra and other Konami games. Batlantis Arcade Emperor Demon Gyaba appears as a major alien boss in a stage. Konami YY World Family Computer Cell Phone Although released a month before the Famicom version of Contra, the final boss theme in the game is the same one used in the original Contra. YY World 2 SOS Parsley Joe Family Computer Wii UVC Bill Riser appears as a playable character among other Konami characters. Snatcher, in the English language Mega CD, Sega CD version, two characters masquerading as Bill and Lance appear at a Konami themed costume party held in the Outer Heaven Show pub. They are replaced by Light and Pastel from the Twinbee series in the PlayStation and Sega Saturn versions. However, in these versions, an ad for a Contra film is shown on a large monitor on a building in the Altamila Alton Plaza shopping center. Twinbee Paradise in Donbury Shima PC, Sheena, Brad Fang and Ray Powered from Contra, Hardcore make a brief cameo in YY Arcade. Nano Breaker PlayStation 2, Jaguar from Neo Contra appears as a hidden character. Best Student Council, in the Konami-produced anime television series, Pushin's other hand puppet friend in episode 19 is named after Lance Bean, a nod to the Contra character. Power Pro Kun Pocket 8 Nintendo DS One of the minigames is a Contra parody. Silent Hill, Shattered Memories, Late in the Game, the player explores a movie theater which features several Konami arcade machines in the lobby, including the original Contra. Rocket Knight, The Ending, when playing as Gold Sparkster, features Bill Riser shooting the spread gun at Gold Sparkster as he flies across the sky while saying his trademark line, It's time for revenge. Robot Chicken, an episode called, Catch Me If You Kangaroo Jack, spoofed the Contra video game segment. Project X Zone 2 One of Xiaomu's counterattack quotes is, It's time for revenge. Let's attack aggressively. One of the video game characters in Episode 2 from Spaceballs, the animated series, resembles Bill and Lance from Contra. While talking about Raccoon City, he is killed with a gunshot to the head by a character resembling Agent 47. Topic. Plot Topic. Protagonists The original Contra, and its initial sequels Super Contra and Contra 3, The Alien Wars are set in the 27th century, and center around two commandos named Bill Riser and Lance Bean, who are members of a special guerrilla task force codenamed Contra repeatedly sent to thwart an army of alien invaders seeking to destroy the Earth. Bill Riser was named Nintendo Power's 17th favorite video game hero, due to his aptitude with saving the world. Some of the Contra games released after Contra 3 have deviated from this premise, such as Contra Force which was set in the present day and Contra, Hardcore which featured new heroes following the events of Contra 3, as well as a human antagonist. However, the original Contra protagonist of Bill Riser would not return in another game until Contra, Shattered Soldier, which brought back Bill Riser now a convicted war criminal to fight against his former partner Lance, who has become a terrorist leader. Neo Contra also brought back Bill Riser, however the character in this installment is revealed to be a clone of the original Bill, as the game is set in 4444, almost 1800 years after Bill's last appearance in Shattered Soldier. Contra 4 brought back the original team of Bill and Lance by setting itself as a direct sequel to Contra 3 set before the events of Hardcore and Shattered Soldier. 
Rebirth may be set in 2633 the events of the original Contra took place, or 4444 where the events of Neo Contra took place, implying that it is set either before, during, or sometime after these games, although its continuity is uncertain. Hardcore, Uprising is another prequel set 20 years before the events of the original Contra, which follows Bahamut, who was the villain in Hardcore, as the protagonist. However, the developers said he could be a different Bahamut, only sharing the same name. Continuity differences While the original Japanese version of the early Contra games specifically the original Contra, Super Contra and Operation C, were set in the 27th century in the years 2633, 2634, and 2635 in that order, the American versions of these games omitted this detail and the instruction manuals for these versions implied that the series was set during the present day. Contra 3, The Alien Wars retained its futuristic setting of 2636 for its American release, but the identities of the two player characters, Bill Riser and Lance Bean the heroes from the previous installments, were changed to their descendants, Jimbo and Sully, in order to retain the continuity of the previous localizations. The American and European version of Contra, Shattered Soldier was the first Contra game overseas to follow the same continuity as its Japanese counterpart. Mad Dog and Scorpion. Originally, the nicknames given to Bill and Lance in the NES versions of Contra and Super C were made into separate characters in Contra 4. The enemy characters of the earlier games were also named differently in the American versions. Particularly, Red Falcon. Originally, the name of the terrorist army that was fought by the main characters in the first game, the Red Falcon Organization, became the name of the actual alien entity leader, thus. Red Falcon became the name of the final boss fought at the end of Contra in which you fight both his alien body form and his heart. In Japan, these are intended to be two different entities, Emperor Demon Dragon God Java and Emperor Demon Evil Heart Gamera Mosking, respectively. The final boss of Super Contra or the third to last boss in the NES Super C and Contra 3 is named Emperor Demon Gyaba in the original Japanese versions. Often mistaken as Red Falcon, his American name is referred to as Jagger Freud in the Super C instruction manual. The American Super C instruction manual also illustrates a common, running, alien enemy from its final stage as Red Falcon. The alien entity leader known as Red Falcon does not appear as an enemy in the Super Contra or Super C games. The antagonist of the Game Boy game Operation C, originally a nameless hostile nation seeking to develop alien-based weapons in the Japanese version, was changed to Black Viper. Another alien invader the alien cell the player must destroy after thwarting the final security system is presumably Black Viper itself. In Contra 4, the final boss is actually Black Viper itself, who takes a form similar to Gyaba in the other games. Regional differences Probotector When Konami released the NES version of the original Contra in the PAL region Europe and Australia they modified the game by replacing the original main characters and most of the human enemies with robotic counterparts, retitling the game Probotector a portmanteau of robot and protector the latter move done probably to avoid any association with the iran contra affair the reason for which super contra's american title was shortened to super c the title referred to the two robotic soldiers rd008 and rc011 who replaced bill and lance in this version this was presumably done due to the German federal agency BPJM, which prohibited the sale and advertisement of media deemed too violent to children, including content which glorifies war. While the original arcade games, as well as a few computer conversions under the Grizzor title, were released unchanged in Europe, subsequent console installments of the Contra series were released under the Probotector title in Europe. The original Probotector was followed by Probotector 2, Return of the Evil Forces for the NES originally Super C and Super Probotector, Alien Rebels for the SNES Contra 3, The Alien Wars. 
The Contra games for the Game Boy Operation C and the Game Boy version of Alien Wars and Mega Drive Contra, Hardcore were also released as Probotector titles in Europe. The series would revert to the Contra title in Europe beginning with Contra, Legacy of War for the PlayStation, retaining the human characters. However, Probotector 2 and Super Probotector were still released for the Wii Virtual Console in Europe and Australia like their original releases, with no uncensored versions available. Although Contra 4 was not released in Europe, the Probotector character appears in the game as a hidden character. Reception By the end of 1996, the Contra series had accumulated combined sales of over 4 million units worldwide. 